he sneaking its back back with peppermint and I'm going to show you a few options here There's some things in peppermint that I don't particularly like basically using Google Docs and all that so I use Zoho you see Zoho is quite a lot more full featured than Google stuff basically just go to Zoho and it's all there for you everything's there you could possibly want to use really at the end of the day I made it out of this prism thing and blah 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 but I'll just give you a tiny little look I've done a video on it a long long time ago Zoho bloody long time ago but yeah it's a good online office really really good you get mail spreadsheets shows, wikis notebooks chats planners everything you can think of majority are free there are some ones they want you to pay for but hey no big deal is it really next thing somebody asked me about prism how do I get a prism thing in there I'll show you shall I there's one way of doing it there's other ways too I'm gonna make the BBC a prism application so I'm gonna select all and copy all that okay copy 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 I'm gonna minimize the screen go back down to my menu go to internet down to prism now where it says enter URL just paste in the URL my mine would be the BBC that's fine for me there you put BBC in because I'm going to call it the BBC you can put a navigation bar etc etc links I'm going to download the icon I click there then basically I just click to apply one two three four click to apply and in theory once I get rid of that page why didn't I right click there what an idiot I'll go down to the menu go up to internet then we go and there you see BBC click it it's now a prism app goes straight to the BBC so there's no navigation bar at the top basically but if you want to watch the BBC or look at stuff on the BBC it's quite a big site anyway as you know what we'll do though I'll go to the iPlayer see if that does actually work from Prism I and mean, it should do at the end of the day so we'll click it just like that now at the time of recording BBC had a bit of a hiccup with its iPlayer so you get to there and it don't play no more so I'll cut that bit out of the video which is a bit of a bummer next thing I wanted to show you was sound and video now I'm not a big fan of the Cloud Player or x to be personally honest with you I want something a bit more full featured so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the Synaptic Package Merger I'm going to get a better one now I'm going to click search and I'm going to type in Banshee okay Banshee go to search here we go we click in the box where Banshee is lovely super duper I like it mark installation yeah that's fine by me been there done that you know what I'm saying and the other thing I'm going to do is do the Ubuntu one extension at the time of doing this video I actually made it a while ago actually Benchy was the only other one that had the Ubuntu one option so I'm going to apply that and download it basically so apply and it goes because I edited it a little bit as I normally do I'll be all bleeding day so right near the end and basically what it will do it will install Banshee for us this is the boring bit because we have to wait and wait and wait it will install Banshee well I could look at them things a bit like paint drying really but whatever rocks your boat baby you wait for it to install here we go we're installed we close synaptic reloads and unky dory super duper we're there now you can see Banshee's installed and the Ubuntu one option is also installed so that's pretty cool so if I go back to the menu back to sound and video we will see Banshee there there we go not if it's going to open this time but it did so that's all right took a bit of time though but hey never mind there we go Banshee now I probably like Banshee because it's a bit more familiar to the other stuff I use uh, meaning rhythm box really so I don't have to preferences general quite a few options sources of options this is the one we want we have to enable the Ubuntu One Music Store option so we just tick the box and close there we go all done and there we are Ubuntu One Music Store so we'll click it and Justin Bleeding Bieber is there apparently today at the Radio One big music weekend thing up in Wales in a bit of a hissy fit and walked out of an interview and done things so like sex and drugs and rock and roll and we're going to laugh doing that sort of stuff. Who knows and who cares? Not me, really. So there. No, 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 no. Back to menu. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open up Excel to show you what it looks like, just in case you've never seen it before. It's just not for me. It actually works pretty good, so it's not a big bad thing. It's not bad. It just is not for me. You may like the way it looks and the way it runs, 
but I don't, so I don't use it. But that's the thing about Linux. You can actually use what you want to when you want to do it, can't you? It's a whole idea of it. Super. That's going to be the last one on Petment, really, because until I come up with a new version and sort out the US stuff for the US of the world, no good to me. Anyway, I hope you like it. Sneaky links out. Give it a try. Bye-bye.